walk you through the Church of St Botolph's in Banningham, which is uh, lies near Aylsham in Norfolk. Now, where to begin? Oh, look here, what have we got here? Got 18th century font cover, and if we look down, an octagonal font, smooth faced, possibly chiselled away, and might possibly have been a seven sacrament font. Wouldn't like to say for sure. Oh, look up there. Let's have a look up there. Fantastic hammer beam roof with angels carved over on the east end there. And what's that horizontal beam? That's a rood beam from the rood screen, the rood loft that once would have been over there. Um, rood, which is R double O D, which is the Saxon word meaning cross. And there would have been a screen across that far end at the chancel on the east end of the church. And over here, I spot a pew. I'm not quite sure the date, but I would imagine 18th century. There's a whole set of them over there. Um, poppy ends and the central benches there. Okay, right, up here, got some medieval wall painting. That's St George and the Dragon, George with his head cut off, presumably painted before those windows on the clear story up there were put in. And over here is a, a faded picture, which from the reading I've done, I gather is of St Christopher. Okay, now we've got a wine glass pulpit there, church coffer here, not going to touch it in case it's alarmed. Ragged Ramblers have a bit of a poor track record when it comes to setting off alarms in churches, as you'll know if you follow our site. And up here, you've got some faded medieval painting and then some Gothic script here. Wouldn't have expected that to be the commandments, but I would have expected that probably to be post-Reformation. And if we look over to this window over here, we can see a smattering of glass, medieval glass, at the top there, some of the nine order of angels, and look into the face of this little fella here with his tongue poking out at you. Now I've seen another one of these recently in a Norfolk church, and I can't for the life of me remember where, but it will come to me. Okay, oh and by the way, I don't know if you can get this, but if you go really close up, Sometimes you can see the unevenness in the glass. And what fascinates me, you might be able to see those bubbles. Well, if you think about it, this glass was all blown. That's the breath of people from hundreds and hundreds of years ago. I would imagine most of this glass is 15th century. So that's some pretty old breath captured in there. Absolutely amazing when you think about it. Okay, here's the chancel. Nice that it hasn't got any seating in it, so it's nice and open. Um, pretty plain roof, but I like it. Nice east window. Um, okay, here's an 18th century monument here to Samuel Wemley, I think that is, who was the rector of Banningham. And what a fantastic skull he got there, side on with its teeth sunk into a thigh bone. These places are full of fascinating little things and details, absolutely amazing. So there you go, a quick walk, talk through Banningham Church. Ragged rambling is brilliant. Try it for yourselves, get out there and discover. And also, it's just so relaxing. I feel incredibly chilled. I was pretty uptight this morning, but not anymore. I'll sign off now with the classic ragged society of antiquarian ramblers cry, Huzzah!